can't, can't, can't be here yet. I'm too calm. She's now in the ambulance right ahead of me. Right there. Hi, baby. <laughs> so, just like that, our baby is here. This is without doubt the happiest, happiest moment of my life. So, it's um, Sunday night, or should I say Monday morning? And um, basically, he started to have quite painful contractions. Between the contractions, between the contractions, I'm fine. When they happen, let's not have a conversation. Um, I just called triage and I'm just gonna go, they've asked me to come in. So let's see, I'm feeling quite cool, but the funny thing is, like before I went to bed, I was like, I, I prayed one serious prayer, I was like, by faith in it. If you yourself believe you can pray for yourself or pray for someone else, that is you believing that God works for you. And I prayed in faith, like, let this baby come. I said, today, today, today. And, um, boy, I'm a feeling now. Let's see. It's 1.45 in the morning. I'm just going into the hospital now to get checked. Could be labour. No, I'm definitely in labour. Just the question is, how early or how late am I? I feel very tired right now. I was, you know when you're about to get into a really deep sleep? Oh, I was just on the verge of the deepest sleep until... <laughs> Until I was like in pain. Even me. Mm. You just finished watching that film. And I was nice and relaxed, and then you started making all this noise. And I was like, "Do you want me to go and sleep downstairs?" And then, um, but then I realised this is different to what I normally feel. And then I was like, "Okay, let me call the triage." And then they said, "Come in." They'll probably send us back home. They're like an egghead, like these people. They look like my mum. I need eyebrows, so I'm lacking. <laughs> Uh, this can't be labour because I'm far too calm. I feel relatively. This is going to find out. Mm. Am I right in thinking that mm. jokes won't be very good? Okay. Mm. Don't go that way, go the other way. Okay, then. Uh, how long's that? They're shorter. Get checked for dilation, right? It was it was shorter. They are shorter. Right. I wonder why they're shorter. <sighs> let them let them check. Maybe they'll check my dilation. Oh, shit. I really don't want them to check if it's gonna hurt. Let them check, and then if they say they go two centimeters, then they'll send me home, innit? Maybe. And then hopefully just try and get some sleep, like. Yeah, it can't, can't, can't be here yet. I'm too calm. You okay here? How you feeling, babe? You having fun? You're glamorous. All right, so quick update. The um, Basically, this contraction started coming on really, really strong. Uh, Patricia couldn't even stand up, um, so I had to call the ambulance to come. She's now in the ambulance right ahead of me, right there, and um, we're going into the hospital. I'm following in the, in the car. Babe, you got it. Take the jacket off me. Okay. Is that contraction gone? Sweetheart, is that contraction gone? How my baby? Yeah, okay. At the minute, we can't get the heart rate in the position you're in, alright? So, what we really need to do is very quickly to move on to the next 
of the bed. Okay, I know it's difficult. I know I'm asking the impossible right now, but it's, this is not ideal for you. You need to listen to me now, okay? With the next contraction, baby's head's going to be here, but you have to listen to us very, very carefully because we want you to head really slowly, all right? Bit more. Come on, bigger push, Patricia, bigger push. Big push, big push. Big push down. Let it out. Yeah, just relax these legs. The oh, my Lots baby. Of space, okay? Lots of room for the body, okay? That's, that's it, baby. Come on, you're doing well. You're doing really well. Congratulations, sweetheart. Sweetheart, you did it. Oh, You've done it. How is my baby? Baby's fine. <laughs> oh my god. We're going to pass it between oh. your legs, okay, Patricia? Oh my god. Pass baby oh friend. my god. Oh. Okay. oh, I'm scared. You're Don't fine. Scared. Oh. just happened so quickly in the ambulance the ambulance put on the blue and white blue uh, flashing lights got here they rushed her up to the room they didn't even have we were supposed to do a water birth we didn't have time basically she just got the baby out in about I don't know about 15 minutes and that was it wow that was emotional to say the very least How are you feeling, babe? Fine, but it was so quick. Maureen's not here, my mum's not here, my dad's not here. Michael almost missed it. And literally, the head was crowning in the ambulance van. And they were like, okay, looks like we have a little bit of a head coming out. Because they have to act really calm. But. How do you feel? I can't believe, I literally cannot believe how quickly this went. It was like an instant. So quick. Michael's going to put her first nappy on and put her in her outfit. Hey, Auntie Mo. Hey, darling. Grace, say hey. Welcome to the world, baby. Say hey. Hi, sweetie. You're hungry, hungry, right? It's not going to be a crazy. Sorry, honey, babe. No, I'm coming out of here. I want to give you this. Please understand how crazy this is. I went from zero to ten in three hours, crowning in the ambulance, and I'm just giving birth in the car park. The rest, I don't remember. But I feel great right now. Like, literally... Amazing. Oh, well, there she goes. She's literally amazing. But how dramatic does that have to be? Babe, get in here. You know when they say zero to a hundred? I can't. It was so fast. There was no time for eyebrows. But I wanted to have, you know, my makeup done. I wanted to look nice. I think I broke pretty much every law of the highway code <laughs> to get here. Have <laughs> the camera for you, babe. When we went to hospital before, they were like, oh, I wasn't dilated. So they sent me home. 
Yeah. Then these um, Prince guys were like, uh, were like, oh, it's um, it's fine, blah blah blah. I'm on all fours, and I just touched down below. I'm like the baby's head, and they went. You know when the lip quivers. <laughs> okay. I think we'll put the uh, blue flashing lights on now. Blue flashing lights. I said, oh, now you wanna drive fast. Now you wanna drive fast. So. Just like that, our baby is here. This is without doubt the happiest, happiest moment of my life. I've been crying and crying like a baby myself. But it's just a, it's an incredibly overwhelming experience. I don't know. I'm sure, I'm sure it's harder for the female, but for us guys, it's pretty intense as well. Trisha is now looking like a glamour queen again. Decided to spruce myself up, had a shower and everything. And I'm just here feeding this little one. Feeding really good. Michael's eating my cake. We're gonna have a food fight, you know. We're already gonna have a food fight here. Can you imagine? Give me my cake. Nah. Babe, stop it. I need the calories. Mm. She's fine. Oh, you look nice, babe. Grace, you don't know how hot your mum is. At the moment, she's just a feeding machine. Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely a milk duck right now. <laughs> but she's happily asleep. So the midwives here at the um, ward have said they're happy for us to take the baby home and for us to leave, which is great news. Hey, hey. Uh, you have a baby in three hours? Yeah. Leave six hours later. So in and out on the same day is really the ideal scenario if you can get it. It is now time to go home with the baby. I'm feeling very hungry, but feeling very good. Like ecstatic. Not how, I, I didn't know I'd feel like this. Oh my God, can you believe it? Gave birth at seven, out by five. By five, loving it, loving it.